Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. And man, do I have an awesome vintage toy hunt adventure for you guys today. So we hit up a few thrift stores and a Walmart. And this very first thrift store, I hit up the Goody Wheel, baby. We hit up the Goody Wheel right out the gate. And uh, I found something at the Goody Wheel that I have dreamed of finding in a thrift store somewhere and uh and it actually happened in today's episode it's nothing like major major but like i've always wanted to find one of these things in a thrift store and sure enough i did and it was really exciting it got me all jazzed up so also as i said you know we hit up a few more thrift stores and at walmart man wait until you see what i found at walmart i got over 200 dollars in action figures for $16 at Walmart. It was pretty epic. Check it out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Goody Will Gang, rise up and join me in the Goody Will Anthem. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> yeah, hopefully you got some vintage toys. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. Oh, here we got a 360, maybe a couple of them. What's, what's this one here? Is that a PlayStation? Holy cow, they want $80 for that? Are you kidding me? Let's see if they have anything in more in our price range on the shelves. Hey, here's one of those. Aquanaut play sets. And we got a SpongeBob hiding under there. Is that a Funko? <laughs> I don't know what this is. Maybe like a dart game? It's kind of a cool wall hanger though. Look at this guy. Oh man, he's gotta be old, man. That dude looks real old. Well, I'm not exactly sure what year he's made. I tried looking him up. Closest I found was a Disney store uh, dino, but it wasn't the same one. I'm gonna get him though. Oh, look at this Spider-Man bull. That's kind of cool, right? It looks a little faded out though. Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh, look at this clock radio. Oh, too bad the battery pack's missing. That is really nice. All right, let's check the books. What's this? Read along. Oh, it's got a CD in it. Oh, very cool. Is this an older book? How was this made? Oh, 2015. I'll still get it. It's cool. Maybe we'll get lucky and find like a Masters of the Universe book. I've never found one in a thrift store. I would love to find one. Especially one that maybe had like a record or a tape with it or something. Let's see what we got. Hanukkah guest. Oh, there's an Avengers. Oh, what's this? Batman, nice. Uh, 1991. Oh man, I love the artwork on that. That is awesome. All right, cool, we'll get that too. All right, let's, see. let's pull these out. Oh my God. Oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? No way. No freaking, oh my God. Oh, that is epic. Holy cow. What you think about is what you bring about. Oh my God. Thanks, Joshua. Thanks for getting rid of this. I love it. Oh my God. Let's see if there's any more in here. Any more like, any more He-Man? Oh my God, guys. I'm so freaking jazzed up right now. That was epic. Oh, that's a cool book. Drawing 50 Aliens. I think I've seen this before here. Maybe I should get it this time. It's kind of neat. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. I'm on the jazz, guys. Masters of the Universe, the Sword of Skeletor. Oh, oh man. Epic, epic. Oh, my 
my god. I've never found one in a thrift store ever. This is a first. Check out that poster. That is colorful. Yeah, now we can get a little better look at it. Look at that thing. That is pretty freaking awesome. How cool is that, man? I found Masters of the Universe, a Masters of the Universe book at the Goody Wheel, man. I was so excited about that. Check this out. I mean, look at the artwork inside of these books. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? Oh my gosh, like, I can't even tell you guys. I mean, look at this Castle Grayskull. Look at that. I mean, I, I'm, I can't even tell you guys how excited I am to have found this. Now, one of the cool things is my friend Travis, he's from Oklahoma, and uh, he was at uh, uh, one of his local stores there, kind of like a thrift store. I think it's like Trader something. I don't, I can't remember what he said the name of it was, but check it out. Look what he found. He found these and he sent them to me. They were like $3.99 a piece. They got the cassette tapes. So we've got Castle Gray Skull, and then we've got the cassette tape that goes with that. And then we've got He-Man and Battle Cat, and we've got the cassette that goes with that. And then we've got Skeletor's Revenge. Let's see if I can find that. Is it here Some here? Is this it? Yeah, Skeletor's Revenge, or the Revenge of Skeletor, and then We've got the cassette tape. And then these are some other ones that I have that I, this one here actually has a record with it. But uh, yeah, I love these books, but I've never actually found one in a thrift store. So to find this thing just had me so jazzed up. I also snagged this guy. Now check him out. Now he's a little rough around the edges. He's got some paint wear on him, but I think that just adds to his character. It kind of looks like he's been in a few fights, if you know what I mean. He's got some scar tissue built up, but check him out. He is a Velociraptor. I looked him up. I did find one that wasn't the same color. The one I found online was more of this tan color that you see coming through the dark, uh, the dark brown color here, you know, where he's, where he's got his paint wear. And that one there was selling for about 14 to 15 bucks. So I think he's pretty neat and I love those razor sharp looking teeth, classic 80s style dinosaur. Well, looky there, already starting strong right out the gate with some Masters of the Universe fun. So the next store we're gonna hit up is Craptastic Sam's, AKA Plaza Thrift. <laughs> Plaza Thrift. We're gonna, we're gonna see what kind of goodies they got. In fact, I did score a couple of things over there, some vintage toys. Uh, they were right up my alley. In fact, you know that old saying that two heads are better than one? Well, that is true in this case. Check it out. All right, Lunger, let's do it. Let's see, what do we got here? What is that, man? That's a big 18 inch figure. Is that like a Star Wars figure, maybe? Let's see, what do we got down below? Grogu, hey, it's our boy Buzz. A couple of them in there, actually. Let's see, there's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It's kind of a cool machine gun. Let's see, anything down here? <laughs> I used to have one of these actually. The exact same one. I bought it like, I don't know, 15 years ago. The Batmobile, let's see if there's a Batman inside. Nope. All right, let's see if we can find anything in baggy land. Hmm, not really seeing much. Bags look a little weak. Let's go check the shelves around the corner here. Ah, what are these guys? Oh, this is, this is from that Disney Dino movie. I actually have this guy at the house already, but I don't have this one. What's this? Mega Memory as seen on TV. kind of looks like a smurf house could it be a smurf house for the new smurfs 
I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it. We'll look it up. Oh, check it out. I got a Pittsburgh Steelers helmet. It's a little faded out though. Oh man, we got this two-headed dragon. That is pretty freaking cool. That looks old too. Hong Kong. Probably get that. What do they want for that? Two, three ninety-five. Wow. Oh, I'll probably still get it anyway. It's pretty cool. Oh, check it out. It's a Mighty Ducks animated movie. And then we've got Herbie rides again. And looks like we got Tom and Jerry here too. The barefoot executive. The computer wore tennis shoes. I've never seen that movie. Georgia the Jungle. Oh, look, they even have Old Yeller. This is kind of cool. Check out. This is a Hot Wheels car from 1993. You turn this key. I can't do it very well with one hand. Let's see if I can do that again. Turn it to that side, and that side pops up. Turn it to that side, that side pops up. That's pretty neat. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a red head and a green body. I've never seen one like that before. It's definitely old, definitely from the 80s. See, I told you two heads were better than one. Check this guy out. Oh my gosh. A two-headed dragon. Definitely vintage. I love the colors on it. That red and orange really make him pop. And look at those beady green eyes. And then we've got this guy over here, this Triceratops. Now I have some of these dinos. They are from the 80s. And uh, but the ones I have, they're all the same color. So this has got this red head and this green body. I've never seen that before, but I'm kind of wondering if someone actually just stuck a red head on a green body. I don't know. I don't know, but all I, all I do know is that he is cool as all get out. And then we got these Dino Land dinosaurs, which I already had this one. So I have doubles of him now. So I've got him and then we've got this guy over here. Look at those eyes. That is a pretty sweet little haul. I think my favorite though is this guy. See, he can he can take on two at the same time. When they try to team up on him, let's put him up over here and then we'll put him right here. And they're trying to team up on him and all he goes, let the good times roll, baby. Two stores in a row. That's pretty sweet. All right, up next, the Goody Wheel. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, here we are, Goody Wheel number two. What, what you got, got for me today, today Goody, Goody Wheel? Wheel? What you what got you for me, me today? today? All right, let's see if we can finish strong in here, guys. Let's see, what do we got? A purple Jeep. I like the wheels on that. Some sort of, oh, it's the FedEx Kinko's NASCAR. Oh, look at this thing. What is that? It's like a snake and some bugs or worms and bugs. It's a neat, look, neat looking little play set. Hey, it's our boy Buzz. Well, that was our first bust of the day, but that's all right. We still got a few more stores to hit up. In fact, this next door, Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Sam's sister location. Uh, we did find something there, but it ended up being really, really overpriced. Kind of like sickening. I would have totally picked it up if it hadn't been priced so high. Like it's ridiculous how much they were trying to charge for this thing. Check it out. All right, let's see, what do we got? Oh, we got a bunch of, uh, looks like PJ masks. Paw Patrol, maybe some other things. There's a Spider-Man, there's a Grogu. All right, let's go check the shelves. All right, let's see. Maybe we can find something here today. Hmm. I see there's another toy hunter over there. Check in the bag. So we're gonna have to hurry on the shelf here and get over there before he scores something. 
but we gotta check the shelves first. Oh, look at this matchbox. All right, what do we got here? Oh, that's an interesting looking motorcycle. There's like a silver pig, some sort of panda. Oh, that's like a clown. And these bags are kind of wiped out. They're stacked more heavy down that way. Thinned out up here. What do we got up here? Anything interesting? Uh, we got an Iron Man plush. I don't know what kind of motorcycles those are. Looks like something Captain America and whatever this cheetah print is. I'm actually surprised this, this place set is still here. What's this? This is another Fisher Price Sesame Street Clubhouse. That's gotta be old, man. What do I want for that? Hopefully not too much or I'll get it. Oscar loves trash. Twenty-four dollars and twenty-four cents. Holy cow! That's a lot of money. Yeah, this thing is selling for thirty bucks on eBay with a bunch of accessories. Sure is cool though, but I am not paying twenty-four twenty-four for that. That's ridiculous. And we have our old friend, the Gotham City Jail. And of course, it's not a thrift store unless we spot our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I mean, $24.24 for that. I mean, that's what you, that's retail prices. You're a thrift store. You got the stuff for free. You got it for free. You shouldn't be charging retail. All these thrift stores are turning into eBay resellers basically. So we keep seeing prices going up and up and up and up and like it sucks. Like a lot of this stuff, like I don't even resell. Like, I mean, as you can see from my room here, like I've got a lot of stuff. Most of this, most of my collection, most of it, I wouldn't, I would, I would say probably like 60 to 70% of it was found in a thrift store. So um, I still got to do that room tour for you guys at some point. But anyway, uh, yeah, 2424, it's highway robbery. All right, let's see if we have any luck over at the Goody Will. Goody Will gang, rise up and join in the Goody Will anthem with me. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? <laughs> Who's in my Goody Will gang? Hashtag Goody Will gang gang in the comments below if you're all about aligning your energy with positivity, goodwill, and cheer. That's what it that's what it means to be in the goody will gang. All right, guys, let's keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that those vintage thrift store gods, the vintage goody will gods are good to me today. What do we got here? Animal Planet vehicle. Probably to capture dinosaurs or something, huh? And who's this? Oh, an incredible. And speaking of friends, we have a playset here. Oh, we got a Hulk Buster. It's a little cheapy one. I like that pumpkin. I like the color of it. Check out that monster truck. The Bone Shaker. And that thing is pretty awesome looking. Got a little, some little boxing gloves. Oh, look at this walking stick. It's very Native American looking. Oh, yeah, it even has a, an arrowhead. Look at this thing. That looks kind of old. It says this is big. Bobby from Bobby's World. Busted again. That's two Goody Will. Three out of the three Goody Wills we've visited so far, two of them have been a bust. What else is new? But hey, you know what? We're still gonna move on. We're still gonna truck forward. So let's go check out Grace Bridge across the street. Oh, Looky here. All kids' clothes, shoes, and toys 
99 cents each. Let's check it out. Check this out. It's a video cassette. It's a VHS rewinder. I think I'm gonna get it. It's nine dollars or nine ninety nine. But uh, I'm gonna grab it. I don't really need it, need it, but it's just kind of nostalgic for me. All right, now let's see if we can find some toys for ninety nine cents. Toy shelf looks a little weak, but man, you could get this whole fire truck right here for 99 cents it has a fire hose wow got this 1000 piece puzzle of the new england patriots final price 50 bucks uh, you probably all the uh sell price stuff is excluded they want 50 dollars for that here's a magnetic dart board uh, door cabinets Really cute for somebody who's like into Dora. Uh, Caroline was into Dora big time when she was little. We even went to see the uh, Dora Live concert. Turns out everything's 50% off today. So I'm going to get this for like five bucks and I'll probably get this for like $1.50 or something like that. It's kind of beat, but I have, uh, I have case protectors at home that I can just put this in. Check it out. It's punchy. $45, holy cow, are you kidding me? That is, is that really worth that much money? So I just looked him up, he's from 2003, and someone is trying to sell him for $108, but in the last 90 days, not a single one has been sold. So yeah, we're gonna pass on that. Wow, look at this tricycle. awesome again with the high prices 45 dollars for the punchy come on man i am tired of these thrift stores and their high prices let's head on over to wally world and see if we can get us a deal all right well let's see if we can find this uh fly figure oh there's splinter i don't have him all right let's grab him We at least got Splinter. Aha! And here's the other one. Superfly. Right, check that out. The Pizza Fire van. I picked that up not too long ago. I also picked up this pack here not too long ago as well. And with these two guys, I'll have this first wave completed. Now we got more turtles down here. Pizza Toss and Mike. These things are so well done. I mean, they, they, they look fantastic. They really do. I love the packaging. Very reminiscent of the late 80s, early 90s. Got an armored Batman. What else we got? We got Gladiator Batman. These superpowers. I don't know if these actually sold all that well. I feel like for the longest time, I just saw these superpower figures. I mean, look at the look at this peg warmer here, <laughs> Green Lantern. I mean, nobody wants Green Lantern. I'm waiting on this next wave to come out. As soon as it does, I'll definitely be scooping them up. I used to watch this cartoon when I was a kid, so I'm excited for Eric, Sheila, and Presto to make their way to the shelves. All the Five Nights at Freddy's crew, the movie's coming out, I think in October. So we should see, hopefully, some new figures on the shelves for these guys by then too. Metroid, Zelda, love the Mario and the Sonic figures too. Here's some Mario play sets. A play set. I'll check this one out. Oh, that's cool. Oh, 
Overall, guys, I'm not really that impressed with Walmart's current toy selection. There's really nothing on these shelves that's jumping out at me saying, take me home, and me saying, I have to have it. I mean, these are pretty much it. These little things right here. Check out the Roton. Oh, whoa, is that for real? This guy's only $2? What? These are all $2? Oh my God. That is a steal down from $24.97. What is going on? Well, hell, at that price, I'll just buy them all. <laughs> that is freaking crazy somebody had to have made a mistake these are like new these like just came out yeah i'm gonna buy them all it's not very often i get jazzed up over modern toys but he's on that jazz man he's on that jazz he's on that jazz man he's on that jazz two dollars a piece that is insane oh my god guys i just got two hundred dollars worth of action figures for 16 bucks. That's insane. Like, I swear to God, those things just came out. I just started seeing them maybe a month ago at Target, those figures, and they're $2 at Walmart. I don't know. Somebody must have made a mistake, but, or maybe they really are. Maybe they really are only two bucks. Maybe they're clearancing them out for some reason. I don't know. Either way, whether somebody made a mistake or that's the actual price, we scored big. Guys, I can't believe I got all of those action figures for 16 bucks. $200 worth of action figures for $16, man. That's better than any thrift store. That's better than any thrift store that I've been to today. So, hey, let's do a little show and tell with these guys. Dang, that is a lot of action figures. I think that's the most action figures I've ever bought at one time at Walmart or Target for that matter. This is uh, incredible. I can't believe that they had them on clearance for $2 a piece. Unbelievable. So we've got Tarantula. And then we've got Spider-Man. Let's see. That was a little blurry. There we go. Can we get in there? There we go. Now we got a nice close-up of him. I love that uh, pencil-thin mustache he's got going on. And then we've got Spider-Man. Now, is it just me, guys, or does this Spider-Man kind of have an odd-shaped head? I don't know if it's that they made his eyes, like, too big, but his head feels a little, I don't know, off, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, let me know if it's just me or if you guys can see that, too, where his head is kind of oddly shaped for some reason. And then we've got Spider-Girl. I think this is a great figure. Holy cow. Man, she looks awesome. And then we've got Chasm over here. And then we've got Rose. He's got his little Rose right there. Love the outfit. Kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones' outfit, his white suit in Temple of Doom. And then we've got, I think it's, a, is it Electra Daredevil? Electra. Nachios Daredevil. What a great looking figure. Now I do have some doubles, these two guys. And what that means is that I'll be giving these guys away in an upcoming live stream. Let's take a look at the back of the card here. Let's see what we've got on the back. Oh, each one has a little information about them. I'm sure they're probably all like that. I don't know why my camera keeps blurring. But uh, let's take a look at Spider-Man. Oh yeah. Man, that is a really cool looking figure. And you know, I can't, these things, like I'm pretty sure these things just came out. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really a Walmart or Target shopper on a frequent basis. You know, I go every now and again. Some of you toy hunters are at Walmart and Target like every day. So maybe it was just me, but I felt like 
these things had just hit stores maybe like four to six weeks ago. I don't know. All I do know is I got a freaking fantastic deal on these things. Well, there you have it. That concludes the day's episode. Hope you guys had fun. I know I had fun. If you did, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It does help my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.